All right, it is 6.04 on Monday, September 23rd, and I am uh, calling this meeting of the Franklin Public Library Board of Trustees to order. Um, Maria Imp is myself. Uh, Annie, well, okay, before I to even take roll call, I am appointing Mike Karlovitz as secretary for this evening's meeting so he can... Uh, Take note of roll call. Uh, and uh, I am present. Annie Anne Marie Oklubgia is excused. Judy Williams Kalaki. Present. Mike Karlovitz. Present. Terry Barris. Present. Annalie Benin. Present. Alan Alexandrovich. Here. Doris Weber. Here. And Alder Woman Michelle Eichmann. Here. Okay. All right. I just want to share something really quick with you. And um, the first part of it cut off, so I don't have the percentage of it. It was from a little article I read about parenting ain't easy. Um, that parents today, a certain percent of them, them, which is cut off, are completely overwhelmed compared to 26% of their bluey-free counterparts. <laughs> and two-thirds of these parents cite financial hardships. Um, the U.S. Surgeon General, Murthy, has suggestions to lighten mom and dad's load, such as boosting the child tax credits, paid family and medical leave, and investments in community supports like libraries. And that was the one example that was given, community supports like libraries. So we have an important job to do. Uh, which we already know, but I just thought that was very interesting that our Surgeon General um, recognizes libraries as helping parents with their jobs. So, good job, board. All right, we have no public present, and so we are going to move on to agenda item three to approve the August 26, uh, 2024 library board minutes. I actually had one thing that I noticed, okay. unless I am not... Uh, let's see, I don't have them open quite yet. Definitely. There was a spot where it Surely. said that we went over June's... Something. Something related to June? Yeah, we okay. went over June's um, numbers, and I thought, didn't we go over July's numbers at the last meeting? Okay, let me see if I can find unless there was <clears throat> Unless there was something that was passed that we talked about because it didn't appear like in a... Right. I, financial statement, it was late, or... It was, it was like we approved... Was June. it under it's the budget? Or under I mean, Treasurer's yeah. report, it says the June report represents 58.2% yeah. of the year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... that's so, say July. Yep. Yeah. Oh. You've got some tough staples, Jennifer. That is... Under Treasurer's report, almost, yeah, the first... Yep. June. Okay. Good job, Doris. All right. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes with that change. Okay, do we have a second? Second. Alan, so Mike and Alan, any other questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed or abstain? Motion carried. I abstain. Oh, thank you. Aye. Judy abstains. Okay, then motion still carries. All right, uh, no visitors is the next agenda item. And then, Alan, take it away with the finance. All right. I'm looking for a motion to approve the fund 15 invoices uh, for $45,157.47. I make Any? a motion to approve that. Okay. Sorry. No, that's okay. I will second. So Doris and Maria. Um, my question was, did anything jump out at you? Or yes, a uh, barge floor covering, we have that in there for 28196 And that was in line with what we expected, right? Right. That's what we that's had That's 50%. Approved. That's the down payment. Okay. 50% of the total. Okay. Other than that, everything was right in line. Okay. So I have a motion and a second. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed or abstain? Motion carries. Okay, now I'm looking for a motion to approve the fund 16 invoices for the month of September, and that total is $1,768.49. A motion to approve fund 46. 
I did not mention. That was Anna Lee. Uh, I will second that one as well. Any other, anything jump out? Not a thing. Any questions, comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any abstentions or oppositions? Motion carries. Okay. Okay, going into the rest of my report, just a general opening comment was that things really were in line. Uh, okay. The only unusual thing, the landfill operations at 97000 oh, yeah. that we got last month was reversed out. That, that was good. It was too bad. <laughs> I know. Uh, other than that, everything was pretty much as expected in Fund 15. Did we get one of your fun little... I thought I saw that. What, the write-up thing? Yeah, here it is. Sorry, it got stuck. I apologize. No problem. <laughs> um, oh, I did make a note, note here that there are five accounts that the mm -hmm. July numbers highlighted had additional expenses posted in July after our report was run. So that's why I highlighted them. Because when I, I'm tying this out, I put all the numbers in the spreadsheet for the month. And then I look at the year-to-date and does the month that I add come out to the year to date that they have? And when it does it, I know they posted something after we got our numbers and were closed. Gotcha. Which still irritates me because really you can't get everything posted in two weeks. Ridiculous. Is it still the same two counts? The uh, no, they they managed to move them around a little okay. bit. Okay. <laughs> Just to keep them on your toes. Gotcha. Just to keep you on your toes. Uh, fun. <clears throat> Fund 16, uh, again, there was nothing unusual about it. Uh, the general comment I make is the August report was 66.67% of the year. And our revenue in Fund 15 was 96.29%, not changing much because of the, uh, uh, almost all the money we get at the beginning right. of the year. This percentage is down from the prior month because we took the 97,000 out. <laughs> right. <laughs> And uh, we didn't make that up in investments. No, <laughs> <laughs> close. Was that, was that two thirds of the year? Yep. And what was the percent? Sixty-six point six seven percent. Well, that's that's pretty close to two thirds. Pretty good. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a leap year, so total expenditures were sixty-three point two seven percent of budget <coughs> for fifteen. Fund 16, revenue is 69.23%, so running slightly hotter than uh, the year-to-date number of 66.67. And our expenditures were 65.89% of the budget. And the cash register report was perfect. perfect. As expected. As expected. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit of a massaging that did have to be done because uh -huh. there was posting <laughs> Switch between two accounts, uh -oh. but the total dollar amounts was right on. We caught that, we fixed it. If it doesn't come to this report, to this group wrong, then there's no problem. Right. Nice job. Does, did anybody have any <coughs> questions on anything? Again, everything kind of just fell in line. Nothing was unusually high or low. Or hmm. Any questions about the credit card, or were you still going to talk uh, about that? Sure, we'll still talk about it. Okay. I never know when to stop, because when you ask when he does. questions, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just as you're going along, instead of yeah. waiting till the very end, right? then I don't know where I'm at. No, it's so confusing. <laughs> Credit card report, again, there is really nothing, nothing unusual about it. Uh, it was one of the lower months as mm -hmm. far as total expenditures. Okay. Where was it? I can't find it. See, that's what caught me off guard. It was Page before the cash 15. register report, so. Page 15? <coughs> yep. Oh. There it is. There it is. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, this is the cash register no, report. One you're, you're talking about the charge card the report. Yeah. It's not in here. Oh, go oh. back one page. Page 15. Oh. Yeah. See, twenty four two thousand four hundred eighty nine dollars mm -hmm. is that was a one lower. of the lower ones. Yeah. So, and uh, no particular amount was all that high. So, again, everything is just kind of falling in line. Excellent. 
Alan, were you going to discuss the budget, the city budget, or is that for us to look at later in Jennifer's? Uh, let, we'll go with Jennifer because I got it just before. Just when we did. Yeah, okay, we did. I wasn't sure about that. All right, last call for question for Alan. All right, so I guess we're moving right into um, that discussion about the 2025 mayor's recommended budget under agenda item 6A. So what you have in front of you is the most recent, I just ran it today, <coughs> this is recent. Um, as I mentioned in my director's report, the landfill operations and siting fees have been removed and we have a zero, we are not getting an increase over last year, um, which is going to make it very difficult for us to operate the way we've been operating. So decisions are going to have to be made by the board on what we cut so. so do we do we know that the city has already approved this the city is not has not approved it it's okay, there so still in the mayor's recommended budget <coughs> the mayor said that he would be meeting with us um, if I well what I don't understand is why 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 is it why do we get the you're not getting any money and then 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 you're gonna meet with us what so that what, what's what's gonna happen about to talk about why we're not. Uh, I spoke to the mayor on my way here from work. Um, he said that he's available to me anytime after tomorrow. You should just reach out to him. He's open the rest of the week. Okay. So just to let him know. Yeah. So I think the finance committee should should be there at the discussion. Yeah, I think good. everything that that you said that kind of puts us in uh, kind of second place compared to everybody else. You know, they're not sure getting feels their budgets. Like it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's more than it feels like it. You, you, you quoted the numbers. Yeah. You know, so just so to I, clarify, I, I, we're staying we're staying the same, but the city is imposing on us additional expenses for salaries that we don't control. Yeah. That is. Is that pretty much what it is? Yeah. And they're city employees, so they're doing it to their own employees in a sense. No, no, the city I mean, employees are getting more money, but they're going to get paid but, regardless. Right. Paid regardless. We, have to, figure, we have to we figure. We have to figure out where, where, it comes where it's going to come yes, from. Yes, that's yeah. right. That's what I meant. But they, well, and I, yes. I'm wondering after having read that and whatever, if if finance, our finance committee, before meeting with the mayor, should get together and saying, okay, uh, knowing that we are we're already in the hole with what a department request was. It's just like okay, we we need to go back with it. This is uh, this is what we need. Right. Okay. This is this is the amount right. that we need. So tell me why you you can't make it happen. Well, Michelle, right. but can, can they make it happen, or is this call to just tell us why we're not getting it? I mean, is there any possibility? I'm not going to waste my change? time for that. No. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I mean, well, that's I, why I want to know if they're requesting to meet with you. I would meet with them and discuss everything and explain what you need to operate. And I'm not on finance committee. Mm -hmm. Presently, the well, it, so. Michelle, don't you think that the department heads would be coming in with a reasonable budget? You know, the, the, it's just like, well, why do you need more money? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Others have bought it. Others have come forward and said that it doesn't work for them. You know, the library wouldn't be any different than others that have done the same in other departments and areas. I mean, it, do, it, do, it doesn't hurt to try. I mean, and it explains to them black and white. This is how we operate. This is what we need. I, I, I understand. He did the same thing last they year. Really the that. unfortunate thing, Michelle, is that you can't get more black and white than what we put in front of them as far as the budget. So you come back to me and, and, and ask questions on, I see these numbers are higher. Can you explain that to me before you say, no, you can't have any more money? It's backwards like in he, my mind. Basically the same thing happened last year, though. And then we said when he came here and we told him reasons why that wouldn't work and then he changed it so that was before the mayor's recommended budget had been presented right. to council. that's true um, mm -hmm. so it was yeah. <clears throat> so was the was the comment made regarding the capital <coughs> and that was different too, um yeah. made at the meeting or was that made private to no. lead to you in like a no that was on the telephone yeah that okay. was just in a conversation okay so I'm just thinking we may need to go through here and see where the where the actual gap things are, if it's personnel or where, and then 
I think, Jennifer, that information should be shared at the Finance Committee meeting when they meet, mm -hmm. and maybe not, since it wasn't part of the, you know, Common Council meeting. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I fully agree. I don't know why they did it that way. They should have met first. I understand and respect what you're saying on that. Yeah. Totally. Years past, have they, um, under the former administration? <coughs> They met with you first, and then did the budget. I mean, to me, no. That makes no, they haven't met with us at all. No, but I'm talking about not this year, not last year, but prior. Oh no, under the different no. Okay. Right, they didn't meet with us at all. Not at all. <laughs> not, not at all. all. Never. Right. Wow. We never. <laughs> okay. No, we're pretty much the cat's tail. But and, and just to be clear, the amount that they're giving us for the budget for 2025 is less than what our budget was last year. No, okay. it would be the oh, it well without the landfill siding. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's 20000 less. Yeah. One of the things that is happening this year is we're getting a lot more money in uh, investments. Yeah. Right, that, which they expect which, we're going to get again next year. Uh, to some degree, but the budget for last year was 20000 yeah. for investments, and this year they're taking it up to 25000 But we're running actual at to yeah. uh, 42000 and but you can't count on that. No, never. You know. Well, I'm guessing you, you can't. But history kind of dictates what you're putting forth for every line in this budget. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we're we're adding like two percent for inflation. So, although you can't count on it, there's a strong likelihood. Can I quote you? Yes. Okay. We'll see you next year. <laughs> oh, you think I'll still? You gonna make up the difference, <laughs> Jennifer? What are the dates for the finance committee that the finance committee meets? Also, because I think if we are, you know, as many of us that can get in front of them in September, late. Let me look them up. Is there are they on the city website? Yeah. Okay, I guess I could do that too. Sorry. Got so engrossed with um, bills. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be important. I know Alan and I went, Jennifer was on vacation, so we went in front of the finance committee last year. So um, it's always, you know, we're never sure um, what day out of the four meetings will be the one where they'll be discussing the library. And I, I asked, I asked yeah. when we should expect that, and I have not heard back. So um, They've got the meeting tomorrow evening on yeah. here, but they don't have the special meetings. I will email that gotcha. out. Okay, yeah. If you could get those. Is it on the agenda for tomorrow? I'm wondering if it's listed as upcoming meetings. Okay. Next meeting dates for the Finance Committee. I have Thursday. I assume these are the special ones. This is off of the agenda for tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. September 26th, which is Thursday of this week. Monday, October 7th. And then Wednesday, October 9th. So it looks like three of them in addition to tomorrow's meeting. Um, let's see. And they'll be discussing the recommended budget at tomorrow's meeting. Um, and tomorrow night is related to planning, public safety, fire, police dispatch, inspection, health, animal control, recreation, operations, and capital budgets. That's not... We're usually... Like... We're usually one of the last. Yeah, okay. So those are the areas they're doing, it looks like, tomorrow night. Um, so we would be one of those. We would be on the um, other three meetings. Can you run over those dates again? Sure. Um, Thursday, we'll September 26th. Yeah, because we're not listed. The library's never Monday, listed. October 7th. Just tell me when they show up. And Wednesday, October 9th. 26th, 7th, and 9th. 9th, yep. What time is the meeting? At? Oh, let me see. Uh, five, five, five for those three, and tomorrow night five. is five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of them at five o'clock. Good question. All 
All right. Any other comments, Jennifer? Any? Um, just that one of the comments was that because we're benefiting from the Johnson Controls projects, you know, it's one of the reasons, but that so is everybody some else. of that is city responsibility anyway. Are other departments getting the same treatment because they're getting right and have you looked at the budget closely enough to see like we know that the fire department is benefiting from the Johnson controls because they're on the list and are they getting well they have that's a whole separate that's a whole that's a whole separate fire department yeah. so what other non-union department is benefiting from Johnson controls well like city city hall city, yeah, yeah. City. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay so yeah health DPW. department health department i believe they're they're and are they getting so increases getting in their budget? They're getting oh, grants, grants to cover. Okay. I'm just wondering if we could compare and say, well, this department, D DPW, are they benefiting from the Johnson Controls? And they're getting an increase in their budget, and we're benefiting from it. And, and obviously, yeah, we can't yeah. use a savings in our capital to pay personnel. But, so yeah. that that's that's not a... I think that's a good idea to find some comparison. DPW is probably a bad one. The I city, was, I was, is, right. Yeah. The don't city know continues that. to grow, especially in the western part of Franklin with all those new subdivisions going in. And we need more DPW personnel, without a doubt. I mean, we're not keeping up right. with DWS yes. compared to how the city's growing. And then I know the big factor a lot that has been mentioned this year with the budget is employee insurance rates have skyrocketed right. out the door. <coughs> and we can no longer absorb those you know, extra costs. That's been a huge. Mm -hmm huge factor that's been mentioned a lot. Health insurance? Yes. Yeah, it's going up by $20,000 looks like from last year. We're uh, self-insured? Are we self-insured? We yeah. have an insurer. So uh, but, but is that a stop loss? I'm not sure. Yeah. Exactly. I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there are things that we can do to bring those costs down. Because if you're self-insured, you can do things like increase your uh, deductibles, your co-pays. Increase employee premiums. Just about anything. Yeah. Well, we need to retain employees at the same time, too. We can't afford to lose any more police officers to other departments. Mm -hmm. And the same has happened recently in the fire department, too. Everything's a bargaining more, you know, Green mm -hmm. offers a firefighter or a police officer five, ten thousand dollars more to get them to go there. And it's, you know, and retaining employment within the city is top priority right now too. Mm -hmm. Understood. Yeah. But I they're open and you know, anything that you see and it might be up to your mother too. It's a new organization. You guys have been mm -hmm. on this and around for a long time. So please do speak up and please say things that you see or may find or suggestions. They're very open to it. And if someone's not, please let me know. So if they're not, are we going to have to make staffing changes because of the budget? There's only two places I can cut. Staffing and, and materials or capital, which would be materials. Because we, we need, I need new RFID equipment. Ours is, I mean, one thing the city should know is we squeeze every last dollar out of stuff here that we can. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not like, yeah. I try to be responsible and replace things on time because you don't want to get behind and have deferred maintenance. We've got a strategic planning mm -hmm. meeting tomorrow night, so <clears throat> because we're going to be getting kind of an initial look at a draft yeah. and we're supposed to discuss priorities, finances will definitely be one of them. So we have to figure out. You know how how we might want to put things together and say, okay, this mm -hmm. is this is what we think. Not necessarily that we'll come up with answers right away, but that based on the current environment, this has to be, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and if that means better relationships with the cities or whatever, however we decide, mm -hmm. you know, things need to happen there, um, we'll make sure that that gets discussed. But we could spend down fund balance, and do we have to put that in the budget that we're spending down fund balance? Hmm. No, it's just. Well, according to the second page here, 
we're starting the year off next year in the budget at 248,000. We're going to be short 188,000. So we're still going to be at 96,266 in fund 16. I mean fund 15 alone and we can't go below 100,000. Yeah, so how's that going to work? What how's it what do you mean that that's what do you mean how's it going to work? Like what so steps the, do we have to take? Yeah, well after the end of next year we're going to have based on their budget we're going to be below the 100,000 that Well, so we, still we still have, have fund to 16. Make up the 4,000. We still have fund 16. Yeah, which has a fund balance. Got it. Okay. But I mean we can't keep spending down for years balance. we didn't have that's to right. watch it at all yeah. and now we do. Mm -hmm. yeah, was, what, what, what was the level that that was from well, originally? That was wasn't that the issue that we had a huge fund balance yeah. and then they have now they made us every single year we have That's, taken hundreds. And of I was told, of okay, we're only giving you ten thousand this year because we want you to spend down your fund balance. We've already right. spent it down. And so how much I spent down the fund down? balance <laughs> every year since they told me to start spending down the fund. And we presented them with the capital <laughs> projects coming up to prove to them why we needed the fund balance in the upcoming years and yeah but yeah so the, again the, the question that came up was that well there will be people on uh, the council that are uh, unaware of the history of this stuff right mm -hmm. right which is not a, it's an unusual history I assume well and that was my other question too um, have you Decided for sure when when you are going uh, to do a, a your annual report to the yeah it has to be either I had October fifteenth as or, an option yeah or the fall so that would be right after I get back from vacation the fifteenth yeah okay. so if I have time to prep next week but I'm also doing John Gerda right. So which Jumping, what would so, so when is so the, then it would be two weeks after the or it'd be the first meeting in November, and is that before the budget is voted on or mm -hmm. or but yeah. that's after all the finance committee meetings but they don't yeah that's the fifteenth yeah. is after all two different also. audiences yeah right it is. exactly so it might not yep. hurt. Mm -hmm. um okay why don't you shoot for that November one since it's more comfortable. I mean, is yeah. that what's your? I mean, I don't want to put something together. I don't want to slap yeah, dash with something together. Right. Okay. Right. So, can I just ask? Is there the number right here for the? It says 2024 activity through 1231 2024. It says that we're going to have an income balance of 754. Oh. That's because it's counting what we have, right? They never I do never, that, right? They, yeah. The Which one are you looking at? This where we're at now as at end of the year. Activity through 1231. <coughs> yeah. Yep. Aren't so those today's numbers? They're counting what we have yeah. left to this year. Well, it's or year to date. So today's right. numbers that we're looking at on these financials are through the end of August. This could be through the end of se September 15th. Right. So we would really be looking at projected activity. That column where it says through 1231, 2024 is not accurate. Correct. Got it. Okay. Yeah, right. that would be that like if we stopped never. spending today. Got it. Okay. Right. That's so stupid. Why do they even do that? That's not projected. That's actual. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> but it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. Okay. I'm trying to get that date for that next council meeting. But. Okay. Um. Anything else? Now, uh, will the Finance Committee, Mike, you said you'll maybe try to meet before before you meet with the mayor. Right. Correct. All right. right. So you coordinate with Jennifer? Mm hmm Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay, any other comments that we want to pass on to our, our own Finance Committee or anything? Okay, we can always communicate with Jennifer. Um, we will move on then to our policy review of the circulation policy um, that is pages 17 to 20 and there were did you get my second email today about oh. the weird yeah what email? happened there no because I'm not getting emails from you so <laughs> that's right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry well what? if you look on page 19 under fines mm -hmm. 
that first bullet point, everything just kind of like falls apart. Oh, yes. I, I saw that and I just oh, assumed yeah, I yeah. did. See, oh, so you yeah. sent out an So email. I can yeah, read be, what Because it it's says. not in red. Yes. I I'm wasn't. not worried about it. It's right. just going right. to stay the same. Yeah. Do you want to just yeah. read that out? Yeah. What it I'll should read say? it out loud. Yeah. I have no idea what, why Adobe did this. A three day grace period is allowed on all items which circulates for 21 days or more days. For 21 or more days. Mm -hmm. Each day thereafter, a fine of 10 cents per day per item will be assessed from the original date exclusive of DVDs. So, unless you want to raise the fines, you know, I didn't mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. that was. You probably want to have necessary. a separate separate discussion mm -hmm. just on because that's a that's going to be a separate policy mm -hmm. in general. Do we or don't we raise fines when yeah, they're talking but, about getting rid of them all together? <laughs> exactly. My my concern with raising fines is if you raise fines, they're going to go to <coughs> Hales Corner or Greendale where yeah yeah they don't charge as much. Um, my question is. Okay, so on the first page, and maybe I just don't. So these, this $5 under that little glitch there, it says a $5 is a maximum fine per item, but we now have a $10 maximum. No, we don't. We haven't approved this yet. No, I know. We're, <laughs> you're suggesting a $10 uh, maximum. Are you talking about on the so first on the very page? first page, yeah, ten. That's a McFliss. So okay, we have to change that because that was a McFliss change. Okay, but then so on our page, it says a five dollar maximum per item. So you, so if I have an oh, item and so I need to, oh no, it's still five dollars. Sorry, five dollars is still the maximum to, fine per, per item. item. Right. Okay. That's All these per, item. per item. So if I max out per I if, uh, on an item, I still have another five dollars in fines you do. before I hit that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just making sure. <laughs> okay. And then what what you uh, in red? Okay, on page nineteen. In red, the second red about the designated items. That what are examples of our designated tools. our tools? Okay, yeah. that's what I thought, but I just wanted to clarify. And um, the games. Like some the Tonys. Yeah. yeah. Do okay. not get cuz they get smushed. Yep. Yeah. Oh, in transport. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Or okay. if a book in a book drop fell on it, one of those. Oh, gotcha. Which, okay. Yeah. Okay. And we mark on the item when it has to be picked up and or when it has to be returned at the library, do not you know do not put in book drop. Gotcha. Okay. <coughs> Did anybody see anything else on there? So the the ten dollars is really a, um, a change that has to be made. Okay. Is there a way we can change the wording of this so that when McFlurry <laughs> changes something and we have nothing to say about it at all, that we're not voting on it? Because I mean, wh why right. should we be, why should we be wasting our time? <clears throat> I mean, if they change it and we have to go with it, good point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Judy, what do you want me to write? <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, this time round. There are other changes to the policy, okay. so we have to approve it with the changes. But yeah, yeah going forward, we could think about that. You could say something like without without stand without with outstanding fines or fees in excess of the McFliss. Oh, oh. or you could say say the well, let's think about that. The fine will be. You'd say like the, the greater of ten dollars or the Nicholas limit. Can we do higher than the Nicholas limit? No, because it would. Or just or the Nicholas limit, whichever is higher. Higher, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because like you, yeah, because yeah, then if Nicholas is higher, then we get the higher amount. Yeah. Yeah, like do something like that because then if they if they increase it, we get the higher amount, and then we would not have to go back. So keep in excess of ten dollars or. And then the greater of ten dollars or the McFlus limit. And then the next time when they raise it to fifteen, are we going to say it's change 15. it to fifteen or the McFlus limit? Maybe, but I mean, until then, until we actually have that happen, right? Until we actually get the the, the policy approved, okay. Jennifer can say no. The McFlus limit is fifteen dollars, and that's before it's approved. The higher of either the ten or the 
big plus number. Okay. Or the higher of the mic. What is how is McPlus refer to it? I don't have McPlus cost. Or unless the McPlus cost yeah. is higher, to which we revert to that. Yeah. Um, did you have the McPlus? I know you were looking at the policy. Is that attached? I'm trying to save paper. Oh, the no, that's see they didn't get that detail granular in the McPlus book. Oh, in the thing that's attached. So yeah, I would say <clears throat> the, sorry, the higher of the Do we have to put a dollar amount in there at all? I was gonna say we could just put right. like in alignment with the McPlus mm -hmm. um, membership agreement. Yeah. Yeah, so you can do that, that'd be the other way to do it. And just take outstanding the outstanding like higher than the McPlus agreement. In excess of yeah. it sounds like we don't. I was hearing Jennifer say like if we started doing that, people may elect to go to a different library. library. So you can just do that, yeah, you just refer to the McPlus agreement. The only problem with that is that people aren't going to know what the McPlus agreement is. Well, Who's who, you said? If um, they read the policy. Library staff may deny borrowing privileges or use of digital resources to card holders <coughs> and then stay with outstanding fines or fees in excess of that stated in the McPlus agreement, whatever the title is, which currently is, and then just say which currently is, and then you have the amount and so people like sort of know what it is. Okay. Because otherwise, it might be like, what's the McPlus agreement? But well, well, you're trying to make it so we don't have to bring it back. Yeah. Yeah. I think you could either post like the McPlus agreement yeah, on the website. Option. Yeah, or I don't know, do people actually read the policies in all honesty? Or are they going to look you at their app or their receipt yeah, to see right, what you post something right by the way that says yeah. that blood or privileges are lost if you have fines of more than X dollars or whatever it is. Yeah. You could just put posting like right by the desk. Still not be a policy of that. Like yeah, right. Policy you refers do, yeah. And you're just do we, do we do anything about yeah. talking about what the fines are like on the slips that people print out, their receipts? For the stuff that they they take out, we don't, all we do is just say, "Here's what you took out, and here's when you need to bring it back." We don't see anything about fines on there at all, do we? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do we have posted anywhere like what the fine is for like being late or? I think yeah. there used to be postings on like the DVD shelves yeah. because that's different than books. Right. So does nobody know like, what the book fine is? It's not really I should know posted. I have fines all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you make a good, good point. That, that would be that would if be a good thing. It's a simple thing say, to post, yeah, so when people say check 15, stuff out, they you know, they know what the. A, day. a lot of people right. ask. Right. So why would you just have a posting right by the desk? Exactly. Day? Ten, uh, you know, unless indicated otherwise in the library, it's ten, 10 cents a day, and the maximum for these privileges is ten dollars. There's all kinds of fines, though. It's like Again, books. Right. You have a grace period, and then it well, kicks in, books, and right? then the books, then yeah. the movies are one, and the express has no grace period, and it's an automatic. <laughs> I mean, we could. Right. It could has anybody could ever complained? Into, uh, Right. Why they, complain they, complain about, they complain about paying fines, but not about well, not knowing, not knowing right. what they are ahead of time. It's a library. You know, People know they're going to be charged. Right. Right. But we send out emails for over, over the yes. years, right? Can mm -hmm. we just put it in the emails? Say? It probably is. That's a McFlus generated email. Oh, it's McFlus. And it probably is. It may be in there. No. No, it's not. <laughs> no. It's <laughs> Trust me. It's not I get them frequently enough yeah. that it I says nothing about them. how much it's going to okay. be. So. Another knowledge well, of this person. Is that a way to eat this elephant? <laughs> yeah, I, can figure, like, I, can figure I agree with Doris. Let's just let I, it go. I just think, yeah. somebody's gonna, if somebody were to ever look at the policy, they'd be like, what does that mean, right? I can like, figure out a way to post more, yeah. something that makes yeah. some I feel like sense. it's more work than, than it's what, yeah, yeah, if nobody really ever, if so it was something that people were continuously It was a long about. time ago that it's been five dollars for a really long time. Yeah, like forever. So yeah. if we're looking at this policy every couple of years, and you know, I don't think it's going to go fifteen years from now. We have to change right. it again. Yeah. But if it has been five dollars for a whole bunch of years, and we just say McPlus policy or McPlus agreement in here, I probably would somehow post it so that people aren't like shocked when they find out. Well, I guess it's to their benefit, right? It's to, to their, their benefit. benefit. I was shocked. Maybe we don't I'm say like, anything at all. I then. know my time <laughs> is over. <laughs> This yeah. much? Why haven't I been I notified? I lost my yeah. I haven't lost my card before. <laughs> Well, I'll because make a motion to approve the revised policy <laughs> with the, uh, the changes. The changes. Purple is changes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll second. All right. That was Mike and Doris. Good discussion, everybody. Any other questions or suggestions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed or abstained? Motion carries.
All righty. Michelle, you are number eight on the agenda. What, um... Oh, do we have... We have the... Uh, yeah, yeah, we've got the memo. We we the the oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. First. I totally wrote that motion under the membership agreement. I apologize. Good thing I'm taking this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like ahead of all you guys. I've already looked through that. <laughs> no, I'm um, All right. Totally so we had a month to, to think here. about <laughs> it, except for Judy. <laughs> I still think it doesn't really matter. I agree. I agree. So was there any... It doesn't matter. Feedback? Okay. <laughs> um, feedback on... The so we are now on the discussion regarding the Mikflis member agreement because I jumped ahead. I apologize. So, did you have any comments on the Mikflis membership agreement proposals? As proposed changes. As I read through it, I noted that they they were passing on all the hoopla costs to us yes. and picking up some other things. Yep. And with the <coughs> growth in hoopla that we're seeing. It could uh, it, be. It could be a substantial pass off to us, and in the five years down the road. Right. Right. But they also are passing on to us the response, the decision making authority, and we can also cut it. We can or, cut it or yeah. down or the amount now. Mm -hmm. I almost think though, like, and I use it, so yeah. I hate to say it, but I think it would be better to make a change now then you know more and more people are just catching on and expecting to keep what mm -hmm. they have I almost think that because you said we could what is it right now four four we could go down you can go down to three two. I mean we could go down to three or two is that per month yes yeah. <clears throat> and and that still is giving you know some benefit it's kind of interesting because at the LDAC, the library director meeting, they talked about Bridges Library System, who is getting rid of Hoopla, and they're pouring all the money that they would have put into Hoopla into the Overdrive, which is Libby, mm -hmm. Advantage okay. account. So the Advantage account is a pot of money that's only for, Mc for Milwaukee County. Mm -hmm. And that allows them. They're trying to create oh, more a more copies of. They're that. trying to create a hoopla-like experience for people, but these would be items that they would own. Mm -hmm. So oh. it wouldn't be like where hoopla is a pay-per use. Right. They actually would. Libby is it owned. They own the licenses. Right. That's mm -hmm. So essentially, Perpetually. You own, yeah, you mm -hmm. like own the the materials, the digital materials. Mm -hmm. It's not like Apple Music where you own it, but they can take it out of your library at any point, is it? No, because if you buy the license, you get it forever. So Mick right. would have a pool of money that they could use to purchase more stuff. Now, would that be enough to really create a hoopla-like experience? I don't know. Well, and. I know my daughter uses Hoopla for a lot of things that are not available in the Libby. Yeah. Right. So that that would be a concern from an actual. I don't know if you have cross checked that. Yeah. Also, I, I I look between them all the time because can you get the same not, thing? No. No. You can't. You yeah. Can't. Yeah. yeah. But but again, we don't have to cut it completely. Right. Right. But we could <clears throat> still offer it and cut it cut in it half. Down. Or, or cut it to three, or... But, so basically what Mikvah is doing is putting that but in Mikvah's our hands. But Mikvah is making the decision, right. right? I mean, like, we're being told these are the options, but ultimately Mikvah is going to decide what to do. Right. But they're, they want feedback from the okay. member libraries, and, you know, so, yeah. libraries could yeah, choose not right, to sign. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I, because Libby is something that could keep going up and up and up, I would rather be choosing... To be able to cut that, if well, we you, needed to you cut have that. already said that there's advantages hopeless. to being able to go to both places. Right. right, right. So you know, from a service standpoint, it's one thing if we're being told we don't have enough money. It's another thing if we're telling customers that we, we're going to just start lopping off services that they've you know come to like. So we've made a decision that we're going to go with this. So let's. I agree with you. Let's let's do something. Mm -hmm. in order to, to manage that. And, and I don't know if, Jennifer, you come back and say, okay, if we, if, we do it at, if we do it at two, and then we go forward and we see what 
We may, we have to actually experience what the impact would be on the budget. But yeah, see, I would cross that bridge when we come to it. Like right now, keep it the way it is, and if we have to cut it in the future, we say due to the excessive costs, we're able to. We're and I guess the Doris's yeah. point is, you know, what, where, where do you identify the future being? Well, my question is, are we going to be responsible for these costs in 2025 yes. for Hoopla? So we are going to have to start paying for Hoopla. Yes, which is not but, our budget. But the but, costs equal. But we're They're also getting picking up the cataloging and the right in 2025, which is more right than yeah. what we would pay for Hoopla. So, so we're kind of covered for for a, for a continuation of the current level of service for 2025. Right, unless that's an area that the board determines they want to cut because of our budget. Right. Um. So and if you do that's that, let's do that, like just not pay, pay for that. Yeah, because it would it's, become it's our responsibility in twenty twenty five already. Okay, so here's what I'm going to recommend, and you can, you know, but the discussion on Hoopla has really nothing to do with our feedback to Mick. Yeah. Right, yes. right, right, right. So yeah. why don't we put that on the agenda for next month, mm -hmm. and let's get back to what the feedback is because. We, um, what we decide to do about Hoopla has nothing to do with right, Mick Foos right. dropping it. So, um, other than us telling them we don't want them to drop it, and then we would. I mean, we could don't say we that. don't like option. Well, I mean, no, it's a thousand dollars either. Yeah. Either way they go, it's so. Yeah, so we let's, can work around either one. It's whatever. It so let's really put the matter. Hoopla discussion on next mm -hmm. month's agenda, yeah. and then um, it's the reciprocal borrowing thing mm -hmm. now that they want feedback on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your recommendation on that? I mean, what do you think, Jennifer? Yeah. You're the person. It doesn't in. hurt. See, it's you know who's going to hurt. I think it's my theory. It's going to hurt the libraries that surround Milwaukee more than it's going to hurt us. Oh, like the the Wauwatosa will have a Wauwatosa will get less money. We already know that, and they've already the board has already said they they're fine with that. Um, Wauwatosa's board, yeah. Um, Brown Deer, you know those libraries that kind of benefit yeah. from being on the perimeter of uh -huh. Milwaukee and getting a lot of Milwaukee patrons because the the option two would give Milwaukee a little bit of money because they're the main driver of the collections in the system. I mean, they, they've got the biggest materials budget and they're the ones buying stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's, if you read my email from Steve, that was kind of right. his. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So I, I guess um, Jennifer and her staff knows the ins and outs about the reciprocal borrowing. Um, and I think she has a feel for what's best or what you know, so I, I think would there trust are, your yeah yeah trust your decision on this. Six on one hand, yeah, a dozen on the other. It's kind of interesting when we look at where the big increases were in our budget was library material. So, um, if we're okay with that, if it benefits the system, being so very socialist here. If it benefits the system by us going with option two, where then everybody has to then work to increase their collection so that the system, so that there's more copies of stuff out there, so that regardless of uh, who has it, you can get it. Mm -hmm. And there's more, because I know there are some things, you probably experienced this too, where it's like, oh, you're number 42 on the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, or, and some people are probably in, in, in higher, it's like, might as well just buy the doggone thing by the time I get a chance to read it. Mm -hmm. There's some of them I've been on the wait list for eight, nine months. Well, don't even try getting the women. And you like forgot, Christina. right? Oh, I finally just got to, of course, then they all come at the same time. <laughs> right, I know, right. And you can't renew them because they're on hold. <laughs> I'm like, at least they have a feature where you can, like, wait. You can pick yes. a few days, so. Doris, if you give one of the books to me, I will read it and record it. And, we, and then you can listen to it right. when you're in the car or something. And sometimes, at 10 cents a day, it's worth paying the overdue fine. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> because, you know, you get to keep it for an extra week for 70 cents. Oh, I know we did talk about the the women by Sorry. Kristen Hannah's on our express cart. And oh, like, well, okay. Don't seems do. kind of mean to have a book that big for seven days, and I'm like, 
They'll give us some extra fine money. <laughs> yeah, right. They'll yeah. get it sooner, and we'll get right. some fine yes. money. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I figured they just pulled it out. You can keep it longer? I figured they just took it back, so I've been making sure I listen to it all. Oh. <laughs> On time. Oh. Um. So the board doesn't right. care. Yeah. We don't really care. I okay. like the I idea that's that's that comes down to. We have no opinion at this point. Yes. So we, don't care. <laughs> we, we trust care. our director <laughs> to, 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 you know, give feedback that she feels is important. Okay. So you'll be, get, and, you'll be able to get back to them by the 30th? With, uh, yes. Oh, okay. no, I'll get oh, back to them tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, okay, no cool. Reason to make and, them that, wait. and that agenda item was a just a discussion. There was yeah. no action on that one. So um, if anybody has any other things that pop into their head regarding that you can always get back to Jennifer in the next few days mm-hmm. so um no Michelle sorry thank you <laughs> uh, no that's okay the only thing I was going to mention that I mentioned earlier is that this mayor wanted to be returned after tomorrow so that's all I really had to ask <laughs> great <laughs> okay thank you. yeah you betcha um all right and then an update on the Franklin Public Schools Emily. All right. <clears throat> so matters relating to the library, I would say we have our first PD day on Monday. Um, yes. So yeah, that'll be exciting, and we're bringing a small bus load of staff over to the library to partner on learning more around. I'm understanding kind of AI related and different resources that they can tap into at the library. Um, I so, Laura's been working on that, I think. Yeah. So that would be exciting. Uh, I was going to say they're meeting with Laura. Who here? Mm-hmm. With Laura Gravender. Okay. She's been our yeah, nice outreach yeah. coordinator. So that'll be great. Um, so we've done some things a combination before, but it'll be nice to be going to jump on one of our buses. We have a couple drivers that can bring them over, and so that's a double session during our gear up time, which is like the it's more personalized PD. So there's choices mm-hmm. that align to our district coherence plan. Um, we're doing a parent series this year, so one that's coming up. Um, and I can share it, Jennifer, too, if you want to post it to the library. It's called Childhood 2.0. Yes. Um, so we did one last week partnering mm-hmm. with the Indian Community School on artificial intelligence. Uh, the next one coming up is this Childhood 2.0. So on October 21st, it's a viewing of the video, and it has a lot to do with uh, just Internet and impact on students and development, things that we don't have all the data on yet, but we see the effects mm-hmm. of. Um, and then the second part of the series will be November 12th, and Katie McPherson is an education, educational consultant. She's been in the education world a long time in psychology. Um, so talking about like her knowledge base and the social, emotional, and behavioral aspects um, that we're starting to see a little more out of that. So I think that we're trying to push it out to area communities too is a really good opportunity uh, as we're bringing her in from outside of state, also partnering with Pewaukee School District to do that. So they have her oh, fabulous. over there a couple days too. Um, and then this so I've been working with Jennifer and Maria to shift this seat to the director of teaching and learning with the school district which is Amanda Pound she started with us July 1 so it's been nice for her to have a couple months I've appreciated having almost two and a half years on the board um, but I know what I've heard through some of the subcommittees is understanding a little more of what we're doing with literacy which obviously very much ties to the work of the library uh, so she'd be our best local expert on that as she's working on our different adoptions going on and things along those lines so we communicated with the city. She's doing all the all the things that needs need to be done, and I think October is her first meeting. But if it's not transitioned yet, then I'll be here in October, and obviously always here for any questions or anything that yeah. the board has or can make guest appearances. As oh, I have your email. You did, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> we've been connected. I think in more ways now than we were two and a half years ago. So I appreciate that, and uh, Amanda will be great. I've had the privilege of working with her prior to even being in Franklin, and. Uh, very dedicated to the, to the learning world, so we're excited to have her, and I think she'll be a great asset to the board. And and to say it out loud again, the her job description, sure, kind of, or I sure. mean, like what what her job entails mm-hmm. in your in the district. Yeah, is so literacy. She's the director of teaching and learning, so all things teaching and learning going gotcha. on. In the district. Yes, so yes. literacy is one thing. Yes, uh, but then yeah, all of our different content areas. Okay. So like in our work chart of the district, it would be my role, and then we have uh, Dr. Mo as our assistant superintendent in teaching, learning, continuous improvement world. So she oversees teaching and learning and student services, so anything gotcha. with students with <coughs> special needs. So Amanda's directly under gotcha. her that role. Okay. Yeah. Well, we will look forward to meeting her and working with her, and um, we definitely 
have appreciated having you on and the things that you have brought here um, uh, from the district and, and shared with us and the, the connections you've helped strengthen and grow between Franklin and the schools and the libraries. So Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, we'll continue to do that. Yes. So thank you. Okay. Any questions for the district? School you're getting off to a good start? It's a good start, yes. Good, good. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, homecoming this week, yep, so there's the parade. I can show this parade, but yeah. it's like three blocks. <laughs> uh, what time is it? Uh, it's at 5.30. 5 yeah. If you're late, you'll miss it, so don't be late. Because <laughs> um, yep. it's three blocks. <laughs> right, exactly. We have a board meeting at 6.15, so that tells you how fast yeah, it moves yeah. along. But it's neat. It's a good, good spirit event. And then we have a lot of athletic events tomorrow night, volleyball, soccer, um, and swim, and then Friday's the yeah. football game, Saturday's the dance, all the, all the I think those are fun because it's, it should be a yes. whole community, right? Yeah. Well, people we could yeah. Oh, for, for sure. It. I yeah. think it's one of the carrying the tradition of the parade. Right. Way, way yeah. back into when I was there. Mm -hmm. That's fun. <laughs> fun. We love going to the homecoming parade. Good, good, good. Well, thanks, Annalie. All right, strategic plan, planning committee. Mike, Doris. You want me to give it this? Gender? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's taking notes like crazy here. <laughs> I'm well, all worn out. <laughs> we have a meeting tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, we are to the point that we have a rough draft that was sent to us. Nice. Um, and so we're going to start going through that. I think with these upcoming changes, Mike will be shifting some of the, <laughs> <laughs> some of the talk. Um, I mean, good. I think that's really the the basis of it right now is you actually have a working document, a yeah. document right. that yeah, mm -hmm. right. I mean, it's a rough draft, but right. I, I'd be interested to see how much different it, it's going to be from what we put together five years ago. What yeah. we thought, what the focus was, and has there been a, a shift, right. a little bit? That's what I'm super like, curious you know, about too. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, I <laughs> can read through it. There's yeah. differences. I mm -hmm. haven't I haven't had a chance to read over it, but I. If it is super different, we might need to re re put it <laughs> <laughs> right back a little bit more because it's not super different. Okay, but yeah, I mean there was a lot more focus on the foundation, working with the foundation. Well, that's something that, uh, especially maybe now that we might need to focus on more. But that's something that a lot of people really commented that they didn't know about. So mm -hmm. Th mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I. I have some ideas now, too, that I think would be good to put in there. Um, but, uh, I mean, our last one was really good, and a lot of times in our meetings we get very off-topic and try to solve the world's mm. large library problems instead of in the city problems that I just aren't going to happen in five <laughs> years. So <laughs> so I was... Oh, There's a little dreaming that goes on in there. Yeah. Which is very fun. Okay. Good. All right. Mm -hmm. um, the personnel committee just had a meeting minutes that yeah. ended minutes <laughs> before this one. And so I will give you the report on that. It was our um, annual meeting at the beginning of the evaluation process that just we review job descriptions and we review the evaluation forms. And we make sure that it's all still looking like we, you know, like we want it to look. So we do not have any timeline made yet, but we scheduled our next meeting to do that. So um, like all the committees on this board, I think we have worked really hard the past several years. And so it's pretty easy at this point to, you know, get together and do this kind of thing. So, yeah, that's what we did. Um, we have and the next meeting. Oh, our next, our next meeting is October 28th at 530, right before our next board meeting. So... Yeah, I was going to announce that at the end. Oh, sorry. No, no, that's fine. Um, and then as far as my report goes, I, again, just want to, you know, because I was part of the conversation all month, uh, thank Annalie for her service to the board. Annalie, we do have a, a month plan for you. Oh, right thank there. you. That's for you for outgoing. Um, so, anyways, that's... Just, yeah, absolutely. And I apologize. I need to go back and ask Michelle... The first Tuesday in November is election day. Do you hold a common council meeting on election day? No. No, it's going to be that Wednesday. 
It's yeah. going to be Wednesday. Okay, so that is that's the Wednesday. The, that's what I think I said first Tuesday. I meant first. Yeah, because no, but the it is the first is and be, third Tuesday. And yeah, so when I looked it up, I'm Wednesday. like, okay, yes. so it is that Wednesday after election day. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> All right, Jennifer's report is next. Um, one thing I forgot to put in here is about my carpet project. Yeah, I don't think I put anything in. There. Oh, I thought you mentioned. Did I mention about the JCI stuff? Oh, yeah, you just mentioned yeah, that. Yeah, I was, thought it was like really, yeah. I went really hard on JCI in the mm -hmm. budget, and I forgot. Um, so you can read the JCI stuff. It's um, mm -hmm. moving along. And we have biweekly progress meetings, so I'll be reporting on those in the packet, you know, in future with JCI. director reports. Mm -hmm. with is JCI. that with everybody? Like, do you meet with all the departments, or is that mm -hmm. just with, okay. No, it's with all the departments that are involved. Right involved, in. yeah. <clears throat> Um, we already talked a lot about the mayor's recommended budget, so we'll mm -hmm. talk about that. Strategic planning we talked about. Um, the carpeting. I have to look at my calendar again because I keep forgetting if it's... Um, so the first the first day that they're going to be here to move shells is November 7th, which is a Thursday. So mm -hmm. November 7th and 8th, we'll be moving shelves halfway across the library so that they can carpet this half. Mm -hmm. Then the following 14th, they'll carpet from 11th, 12th, and 13th. And then the 14th and 15th, they'll come. Yurgis will come and move the shelving back on the on where it's been recarpeted. And then they will move everything on this side of the library towards this way. And then they'll carpet that. So how will you, will you just like keep people out of that area? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it'll be roped off. We're going to get <coughs> cones from DPW and have the caution tape. Mm -hmm. um, librarians will be able to go in to retrieve materials. Mm -hmm. oh. but, this, but the public will not be able to be in there. Okay. And um, I had suggested to Jennifer to have those, maybe not the tape, but have the cones out a prior. week or two in advance, mm -hmm. and then people can say, why are there cones here? I mean, we're going to have, we're gonna gonna have, have signs, signs up, but... We know how those work. <laughs> people don't read signs. <laughs> right. So I just so had we'll another visual the, to... We'll have the cones out just to be like, Bing, oh, something's happening at the library. Um, <clears throat> so the whole project hopefully will be done by November 20th. When is the Christmas program? Well, that's not till December. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you have, like, yeah, just want to make sure. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, that's December 14th. So we have Phew. plenty of time. Yes. Okay. I, I will have time to pass out at home and recover <laughs> from the carpet. I'm very nervous about it. But, you know, we've met and we're going to meet again before the project. So I'm feeling oh, it'll be okay. good. Um, the building maintenance supervisor knows what he needs to do. Each librarian is going to be assigned a certain thing to do. I'm ben I'm benefiting from, from my project management, management course that she <laughs> I guess took so. as wow. a result of her goals from which was that year. was my project. So yeah. each librarian will have a section that they are responsible for to retrieve the books from, or no. to just keep. Track. Sam's in charge of moving the computers oh. and making sure that the computers, we have enough computers and laptops over in the children's area because that's where people will. Um, oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> so it's, I know. So he's in charge of technology. You know, and Laura Gravender is going to be in charge of um, the young adult books, the ones that are on shelves that they can't. So I don't know if you've ever looked at young adult, but it's a mishmash of all yeah. the shelving across the library yeah. that we <clears throat> yeah, you've moved around yeah. and repurposed. Yeah. So there's some that he they can't move. So we're going to have to take the books yeah. off of those, and make sure that those are in a way that we can retrieve those. So Laura mm -hmm. Gravender is in charge of that. Mm -hmm. um, Carrie's in charge of getting the crate space ready for Sealed. all of the <laughs> furniture that's going to have to go in there. Gotcha. So just everybody yeah. kind of has. Yes, there. Yeah. Um, and again, the computers, I mean, my concern is that the people are, who are here all the time, yes, you're going to have signs up, but, you know, just even putting something up on the computers, these will not be here, they yeah. will, but mm -hmm. they will be available over, I mean, you know, we'll that probably make, like, too, signs so. that they have to flip back, yep. so they have to oh, look they have at to it. Idea. Yep. They have to look at it. Now, we think we have enough, <clears throat> okay. with, the, with the children's computers and the laptops, 
Okay. Oh, yeah. We, we will. Too. We got five laptops. Because plus now the six. all the rooms still have programs and things scheduled in them, right? Like, no. Um, not on this side of the building. Oh, well, because you can't get into these. Right. But so like, Andy, Andy was in charge of meeting rooms. Yeah. Clearing out meeting room space or study room space. Well, it definitely sounds like the project is under control. So yeah, we hope got it. by got November twentieth, yeah. you're hoping that it'll be. And it's from it'll you said start date is about November seventh, seventh, the Thursday to twentieth. To okay. the twentieth. All, All right. right. It's like three well, weeks. Sounds right? good. Seventh to twentieth. And then these upcoming yeah. up, other upcoming event For events. Oh, one more thing about the carpeting oh, project. Yep. Yergis is going to move a library, another library up north, and I'm blinking out on the name. So they will not be around for a week. So they may, they'll be moving young adult over here into this area. Gotcha. Where the tables are, mm -hmm. right here. And they may not get back until the following week okay. after Thanks, the week of Thanksgiving, actually. Gotcha. Okay. To move those back to the young adult. Okay. Oh. All right. So even though the, the carpeting will be done by the 20th, the, the shelves may not be back, back okay. all back where they're supposed to go until the okay. week of Thanksgiving. That's okay. They're just going to cut a few thousand dollars off the price for the inconvenience, right? <laughs> 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 all right. So coming up. Oh, yep. Yep. We have John Gerda. Yay. Yeah. We only have like probably seven tickets left. So, wow. Yeah. You know, if you're thinking about buying one, you probably want to buy it this week. There's probably not going to be any left. I'm always week. amazed that they sell that mm -hmm. they sell. <laughs> um, the 24th hey, is the. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. You don't know who John Gerda is? Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. She's not of our generation. <laughs> oh, there's that. Yes. Where are you yeah. from in time? <laughs> <laughs> More of it, yeah. <laughs> Thursday, October 24th, we'll have the trunk or treat. Ellen gave us an update today. They already have 31 mm. trunks signed up. Okay. Their Ooh. goal is 50. Okay. So we'll see if they get there. Oh, but, that's um, a lot of. And then November 1st to 3rd, my our holiday fundraiser, which is either, either going to be great or really horrible. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. Mm -hmm. How many people do you have signed up for that? Um, well, oh, the foundation no, just, is helping. I don't. Oh. The foundation is helping. It's just I'm worried we'll either get too many donations or not enough donations. Oh, you're and right. You It'll go one way or the other. <laughs> <clears throat> and is the is the foundation taking care of volunteers? Yeah, and, and like I'm also asking for National Honor Society volunteers okay. to help out. Um, and if anybody so here anybody in this board, room wants to right? help out, okay. If Brianna wants to help her, out, sure. tell her be fun. I can I have her doing cashiering or something. Okay. I'll tell her. <laughs> all right. Anything popping out from at a glance? That, well, first of all, any questions for Jennifer about anything in her report? Okay. Any anything major on the at a glance that you want to highlight? Um, just that. Sir, you can't see it on this sheet. It's on my other sheet. But sir, count gate count, all of those. Items are up. Yeah. Um, new cards were up. Okay. Holtz filled were down, but that's yeah. No. Um, that's because you had everything everybody wanted. Maybe so they didn't have to put a hold on. <laughs> um, and that takes money. Programming, programming numbers Hulk were comes down the were money. good. I don't. I think the programming <coughs> numbers were slightly less, but not significantly less than last year. I think they didn't run as many of those extra programs in August like they did last year. Remember, they added yes. so many extra programs. There were a I lot. I remember that. They were a that, lot. They were not August part of this. Year. I think so, Madeline, right? Like she did a bunch. <coughs> Madeline yeah. did a bunch. Yeah. Which I yeah. might just be uh, not good, bad, or otherwise. Yeah. I'm just saying, might just mm -hmm. buy yeah. it. Ross be the did reason. a Dungeon and Dragons, a D and D program, which was well received, yeah, I but. Bet. Yeah, yeah, but she was doing like weekly sure. story yeah. times yeah. and yeah. Okay. Um so yeah, it was a it was a good month. Alrighty. And then since Annie's not here, um any anything else regarding the foundation? Yeah. Well, okay. So the foundation met Okay. I forgot Annie was gonna be here. <clears throat> the foundation met on um last Wednesday. And they approved the reupholstering of these 
cushions on the round oh. pot, the hives. Mm -hmm. I call them the pods, but they yeah. call them the hives okay. right here in these corners. So that was $6,600 for oh. six of them. Okay. However, I found out today that that didn't include installation. <gasps> That's just the material? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I think, I mean, we have Morning <clears throat> Mike, our maintenance guy in the morning, that I think is could do it. Oh. Um, I, I did ask him for a quote on how much installation would be. So if it's like only 500, I may mm -hmm. go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. okay. But if it's, if it's going to be a lot, I'm yeah. just going to be like Mike, because I think he can do it. So yeah. just give you a quote of the material? I know. That's I told Carrie, I feel up. really, I guess I thought it's $6,600. It has to include installation, I right? I think so. Oh, you just going to the material. Like, that just seems a little odd. So they'll, they'll basically be delivering brand new cushions to us. Oh. And we have to take the old ones out. And put, and put the, the new ones in. Okay. Oh, all of that. that's it's, all done. It's oh, it's just, just a new oh, cushion. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't okay. be worried about that, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me sewing with my... Right, I'm like, Mike's going to fold <laughs> that <laughs> fabric and right in. Yeah, and yeah, he that? Wow, you have wow. really good faith yes. in him. So, um, yeah, so we'll... We'll get there. But anyway, I'll find out what the installation is going to be. But I okay. think I think Mike can probably do that. Yeah, Mike, so, the maintenance guy, yeah, not the maintenance Mike. Mike. Yeah, no, I'm not the maintenance guy. So at, at, while we, we were waiting for the doors to open for the volunteer breakfast, I just happened to be looking around uh, at the bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I just I just counted <laughs> on one side. There were 49 bricks that didn't have any anything yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned it to Dennis McKnight. I yeah. said. You know, we have a lot of bricks, and he happened to mention who was responsible for that project. So I, th I think that might be an opportunity to say, okay, here's you know, here's another way that we can, you know, get some additional dollars to How help support the library. The yeah. friends did it. Um, you mean you oh, want to take wait. out the blank, the the blank, blank ones? Yeah. Well, you that. order bricks, and then they come, and then we'd be responsible for taking out the blank ones and putting the ones. I know Bob Tesh told me that if we ever did that again, because he... He would kill he'd you. He'd kill you. No, he's, he was like, I'll leave. But he's already retired, he's gone. so... <laughs> right? I did. Well, I'd that's have to what talk I mean. Like, how big of a deal is well, that to not break the other ones? Well, it's not big, because you have to just etch on the top. It's, no. Oh. That's what I... The, to, when the DPW do it, like, my son does the ones in Greendale, because it... DPW? Well, you're sorry. I don't, you know, I, <laughs> I honestly don't know because DPW is not doing as many, actually, any special projects for anybody because of their staffing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're doing some time to right. <laughs> yeah, like, Can we just. Now, there are companies that do edge, though, from what I understand. Instead of pulling know. the bricks out and putting yeah. them in. Yeah. I do know that over at Ware, it's an ongoing. You can always buy a brick there whenever you want. It, they never do special fund, they never do special drives for it. It's an always thing. Yeah. And what they do is you you fill out the form and you pay for it, and then like once every, I mean they, they don't come out every time a brick is bought. Right, right. right. They wait till there's a certain amount of them, and then they come out and do them all, and then. So, so do they etch them there, or do no, they um, do they order the bricks? <sighs> to be honest, they must. You know, I don't really know. They must. Where are you talking about? The Where Nature Center. Where Nature Center. Yeah. yeah. Greedo must send theirs out. Yeah, I have no idea. But all I'm saying is it doesn't there. have to I be like yeah. a thing that we do once when the building opened. It could be an always thing. They've done them a couple times since yeah. the building was open. So I think or, we've had three brick drives. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it was, was the last one that was really difficult for Bob. and. Okay. Um, that might make like a good Christmas present for somebody who has, like, say somebody has an elderly parent who they have everything, mm -hmm. and they frequent the library. Or yeah. people who pass away, would you then get a yeah. memorial brick? Mm -hmm. Would, and would your son ever be willing yeah. to donate his time just to come and look at them and tell us how how difficult it would be to? I love to say yes, but he's in the middle of doing a humongous remodeling project in his house. Oh, okay. So he's not busy with the village and his two kids. And Honey, I know like you love me, so I just have like a small favor to ask Can you, you just yeah. bring me I lunch mean, at work? I'll meet you at the library. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Annie's helping me move. And 
I would normally say yes, but he is like overwhelmed. He's I can ask my parents on a house I just, project. I can He's ask so Joe. In all I directions. can ask Joe yeah. or maintenance yeah. custodian. Anyways, but see just, if just, just something to pass on. Yeah. to the foundation that if they yeah. All right. Anything else with the foundation? Yes. So they gave sixty six hundred. They gave. Um, so we had a longtime volunteer in the children's department pass away in mm. late yeah, August, September. early September, yeah. and her family has designated that donations come here. Aww. Or I think there was Who one was other it? place, sure. but we've gotten almost a thousand dollars. Very nice. And um, I was working with her grandson, mm -hmm. and they gave them a few options of things they could fund, and they chose the Wonder Books because they oh, thought those right. sounded just like something. <clears throat> she would like yeah so us to have so that's the foundation great. approved whatever monies that come in which i've gotten 922 mm. whatever but her memorial service is in a couple of weeks so oh, there might okay. be more that okay. come in so nice can we ask who the past anna recibo she lives in greenfield but she volunteered here she yeah and she was very close to uh, sarah and brenny i bet so nice yeah okay. so um that and then um, they gave Carrie money for a meditation program because Carrie realized she had used up all the money they gave us last year. Oh, the foundation for, gave for okay. programming, so they're giving her an additional amount. So nice. it was a nice meeting. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, any other questions for the board, uh, the foundation? All right, Terry. You had a colon meeting last month or this month. Yes, those are uh, every two months. Yes. So I have a report where I should mm -hmm. every two months. Right, every other month, yeah. And uh, this one was at, sponsored by, I'll say, the um, Monarch Library System. And they already have the four counties covered uh, north of Milwaukee County. And the... Um, Central one is the uh, Mead Public Library in Sheboygan, and then the other uh, other libraries around Sheboygan. There's the uh, uh, there's libraries in Dodge County, Ozaukee County, and Sheboygan, and uh, that are all within this equivalent of our Milwaukee County library systems. The four counties there, so. Uh, That was, uh, and they hosted it. So the people who were there live, that's got got to be lower 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 numbers of people. Used to be everybody would go up <coughs> and get their uh, their uh, return for you know going up and using their money on their, on, the, on their car and so on and so forth. But it was, got, there was none of that for a while. Mm -hmm. with, uh, the uh, pandemic, and then there's some tightening up on these uh, figures, et cetera, et cetera. And so more and more people on the committee will uh, meet virtually, virtually, and some will attend. So uh, it makes a difference uh, kind of on the atmosphere of the meeting Absolutely. and so forth. Uh, I guess the important work is being done, however, as far as I can tell, possibly more efficiently. So. Uh, some of the continu continuing subjects and projects that they uh, talked about in the meeting. Uh, there was a, a reply for the Department of Public Instruction budget, so getting a, giving a feel for what uh, that department has to, had to do. Uh, Coland is uh, connected in a, in a way with, uh, with DPI. Uh, <coughs> There was uh, some information about the uh, UW's um, information school, and that's a little, it's a little different from, say, what computer pro. Well, everything has changed from right. uh, some of us who actually saw you know, punch cards and so on and so <laughs> forth, but uh, uh, the uh, people who program computers uh, at any sophisticated level or the people who do the design and so forth. That's sort of one area different from people who learn um, information science, which is right. more connected with uh, transmitting information to people in, in, for, you know, in person to person and so on and so forth. 
So uh, this is a, a little bit different from what you might expect uh, in exactly what part of the field people are, uh, are working in. Um, the uh, Department of Public Instruction and uh, uh, some of the, sc the school libraries uh, had updates on what they've been doing. Uh, and some, there are some networks, network subcommittees. You know, there's people who, uh, as, some, you know, as members of a smaller group, that were talk, would uh, report about what uh, the work on networks, in other words, the interconnection, electronic inter interconnection of uh, libraries, uh, what's happening uh, on that. So it's, you know, on a small scale, uh, what Colan does on a statewide scale uh, is, you know, focused on for having these kinds of meetings. So that was uh, was interesting, and, uh, and it went pretty well. So good. How long are those meetings, and when? Like, are they during the day or in the evenings? These are on a Saturday. Oh, okay. And usually starts at nine o'clock, <coughs> goes until uh, maybe two-ish. Oh wow. Okay. So. Uh, and this one was in that category. There's a yeah. lunch break usually, sure. typically, or a working lunch break. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so it's uh, nice. There was a, there was probably a little more fun and work when you if you were going to commute someplace. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Some people try and make a one night vacation out of it, or they would. Right. They used to be. They used to allow you to extend a vacation at your own expense. Gotcha. But for some reason, I, my understanding is that that's uh, not something they're doing now. Gotcha. So I suppose you can just do it on your own on expense your own. for the whole thing. Right. There you go. Right. Well, didn't you go up to Bayfield a couple months ago? Uh, or were you... There was... Yeah, we went... Well, there might have been longer ago than that, but... Okay. Uh, but for... Yeah. A colon meeting, a colon yeah. meeting was up there, and you made it into a... That was a well, that was a good... Uh, that was a... It was a good uh, expense account there, for, but a short, yeah, yeah. short stay. Yeah, okay. yeah. There was there was uh, <coughs> there was one where we stayed up on uh, Mala. On that was the one I'm thinking of. Mala and I. Yeah. That was something uh, a couple of years back, I think. Oh, okay. And again, it's like, well, they'll pay for something. Gotcha. They're not paying for a vacation. Every, right, so. right, for sure. Okay. So if it, actually, it, it, they have the geographical issue that we have, which is that it's easier to get. Mem uh, even if you allow in the size of uh, populations, mm -hmm. it's hard to get people way up north and so forth just because of that, uh, the logistics. Right, and, right. Uh, so yep. maybe if they get more used to electronics yep. <laughs> and, and going to meetings that way, right. or maybe if we all do, right. uh, that'll change. Yeah, okay. All right, um, any questions for Terry? All right, then our next um, meeting is October 28th at 6 p.m. Uh, anybody aware at this time that they are not able to make it? And Annalie will pass that on to Amanda, Amanda once she gets, and I'm, we'll add her to mm -hmm. communications. And then our personnel committee, committee will be meeting again right prior to that. We're meeting at 5.30 that same day. So. I make a motion to adjourn. I all in favor. Hi. Hi. Anybody opposed? Okay. Who was that? Uh, Annalie? Or okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs>